The ride's over for Lime scooters in Auckland. Auckland Council announced today that Lime has just one week to pull its e-scooters from the city streets after revealing they would not be getting another licence to operate. It says other companies put forward better safety plans, but it isn't ruling out having them back in the future. Lime scooters rolled out just over a year ago and since then they've been linked to the death of one rider and two others have been seriously injured in recent months. While some Aucklanders were sad to hear Lime was on its way out, others say they want e-scooters gone altogether. Our cameraman Nick Munro and reporter Nita Blake-Person filed this report. After a year on Auckland streets, Lime scooters have turned out to be a bit of a lemon. We had to make some decisions around who we would operate, you know, which operators we'd take forward, and as I say, their their application didn't quite come up to the the level of the four that have been successful. Auckland Council today revealed it won't be giving the US based Lime a license to operate. Director of Regulatory Services Craig Hobbs says eight companies applied for licences to operate over the next six months. Lime and Wave, another Auckland operator, were not among the four which made the cut because their safety plans weren't up to scratch. Looking at what the operators have offered when we've looked at the applications, some of the things that I can share with is the ability to identify when a scooter tips over. So at the moment, um, the uh, Flamingo has that ability, the others didn't. Um, so as soon as a scooter tips over, the, someone can get there and pick it up. And the scooters that we have gone with, as I understand it, will, um, will break when they go down, so they're self-breaking when they go down hills. Lime's had a rough ride on safety since rolling out last November. Earlier this year, its scooters were pulled from Auckland and Dunedin after 30 riders were injured due to a braking glitch. In September, a 23-year-old man died in a Lime accident in central Auckland and two other riders have been seriously injured in recent months. Auckland Transport's Shane Allison says it's been a learning process. Nothing takes away from the tragic events that have happened and some of the injuries that have occurred. Um, but as I said, this has been a learning experience. We've uh, put in place a number of enhancements um, to deliver improvements in terms of safety. Lime found out this morning it had been squeezed out of the market, but Auckland Council says the relationship is positive. I think we've all learned through this process, um, and yeah, it's, the relationship has been cordial and, and positive. But other e-scooters are here to stay in Auckland. The four successful operators will have 3,200 scooters among them. However, they will now have to be deactivated from 1am to 6am, but in particularly busy areas with lots of bars and restaurants, that time will be extended from 9pm to 5am. Craig Hobbs says the council can't control the speed scooters can travel at, where they can go or where the riders wear helmets, but is hopeful the government can help in that area. We're waiting for the um, accessible streets package out of NZTA. Um, they've delayed that a couple of times now. I don't know why. Um, you'd have to ask them, but sooner hopefully rather than later. Limes like these are now on borrowed time. They have until Monday midnight to be deactivated, everyone in the city, and all of them have to be off the streets by end of day Friday. And many Aucklanders will be sad to see them go. I guess it will be kind of a pretty bit of a shame. Pretty gutter to be honest. I've never really tried Flamingo before, but Lime's definitely my favourite. I just sort of found Lime the easiest to use. They're a bit bigger and clunkier than some of the other ones. But for others, the end of Lime's ride couldn't come soon enough. Yeah, I think they're a bit of a menace, with, like, especially in this area here where we are downtown. And, um, yeah, I just think they should be taken off, yeah. I don't really mind. I don't personally go on them myself, but um, a lot of my colleagues and friends do and they find them quite handy. Um, although I've spoken to a lot of Uber drivers who have had people almost crash into them regularly, so they'll probably be very pleased about it. <laughs> I'd be happy if they were all gone. To be honest, it's not very good for um, poor sighted people, people with dogs, with dogs themselves and me. So yeah, I'd be happy if they all went. Auckland Council's decision won't affect scooters being used elsewhere in the country. Lime says it's clocked more than 2 million rides in Auckland and nearly 4.5 million nationwide and maintains their scooters are the most technologically advanced and safest available. For Checkpoint, Nita Blakeperson.